Hey guys, it's Nicole and today I'm going to show you how I remove my gel polish with an e-file. So this is a ceramic smooth top bit. It's from e -Nail Couture Max Estrada. I will link it down below. And yes, I do have gel polish on natural nails, but I have a thick layer of base. I use Jealousy Base Coat, so I'm not touching the natural nail. And that's important. you got to make sure you've got a thick enough base coat that you're not going to hit the natural nail. So, I mean, you can kind of see how I'm doing this. This is a really, really quick version, and I showed you a tiny bit of cuticle work. At least what was, you know, on camera. <laughs> so, I, you can see that I'm just making sure I only hit the color and do not touch the new nail growth. And you don't want to stay on the same spot for too long or else too much heat will build up and it'll be really hot and it will burn. So, as long as you move around, it'll be totally fine. I'm using the smooth top bit so that that a sharp end can't hit my cuticle and you're less likely to get any cuts so that makes it really easy and you can see I'm just kind of pulling the drill towards me the e-file handpiece just pull it towards you You've got to keep it going in the same direction the whole time so you don't want it to catch on anything and I only showed my dominant hand on this but for my non-dominant hand it's the same thing just make sure you've got good grip on it and I mean just go a little bit slower but same method. So I'm just keep taking off that color. You can see I always have to keep flipping my hands around to make sure I can get a good angle where I can see what I'm doing. And that's important because you gotta know what you're doing or else something that could go wrong really quick. So once all that polish is off and I've thinned down the base coat, I'm taking some little bits for cuticle work. I started with unicorn bit and just went around the base of my nail. And then I took this tapered bit same thing, go around the base of the nail to help prep the new growth and then just take off the dead cuticle. Like I said, this is a really, really quick cuticle tutorial I just added on there because most of it's off camera. <laughs> and I took the droplet just to get any other dead cuticle and then to smooth out little calluses around the sides of my nails. Once that was done, I'm taking this glass nail file just to remove a little bit of length and reshape my nails, make them even with the other hand. And once that's done, all the stuff for me to do is to clean up the dust, to hydrate my nail, prime, base coat, and that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and see you next time. Bye!